Hi guys, Greg here. Today I'm going to be unboxing a brand new TerraMaster NAS. This one's a lot larger than what I currently have. It's five bays. So I'm going to unbox it, look at it, install some hard drives, and kind of do some speed tests and see if it's faster at buffering than my other NAS. Probably not by much because they're pretty similar in terms of power, but this one has a lot more space and capacity. So let's open this thing up and get to it. The F5221 is TerraMaster's 5-bay NAS for a small business and personal cloud storage. It features a 2 GHz Intel dual-core processor, supports hard drives with a capacity of up to 16 terabytes, 2 gigs of RAM, and 2 Ethernet ports. I had already done a video on their smaller F2-210 NAS. You guys can check out that video in the description below. And just for complete transparency and disclosure, I am not a tech expert. I'm simply trying to learn my way through this crazy world of NASes and servers and all this cool stuff. So why don't you follow me along and learn with me? So my overall thoughts on the F5-221 uh, that I've used for the past few weeks have been relatively positive. It was a lot faster than my F2-210, which was a two-bay drive. And like I said before, the five-bay drives really do give me more flexibility in order to have more redundancy to my uh, media server as well as my OS backup. And even then I have an extra drive that I can assign as my internal RAID backup for my system. Now that doesn't have redundancy because it's only five bays, but still it, it gives me the option to store it in another location if anything ever happens to my data on my own PC. As for the setup, it was relatively simple, just like my F2 to 10 NAS from TerraMaster. I, I plugged it in, installed a firmware update, and basically formatted the drives, followed the step-by-step -step instructions, and everything worked pretty flawlessly. In terms of like read and write speed, it is pretty similar. It's like 119, like 120 megabits per second uh, read and write from what I've what I've noticed. So the, the speed has relatively been not so much an issue. It was never an issue with the F210, but where I really noticed it stand out, like I mentioned before, is the Intel chipset. With the Intel's chipset comes a uh, hardware like accelerated transcoding, which is something unique to that, specifically the Intel uh, chipset. That's something I did not have in the F210. So I've been noticing the encoding specifically on my Plex Media server and my video files being faster and smoother. I no longer have connectivity issues upstairs. Again, I don't know if that's Plex improving or because of the processor. It's probably a little bit of both, if I'm being honest. I can now stream my movies in 4K as before I was maxed out at 720, barely 1080. So that's kind of a, a plus. Overall, it's, it's a bigger, nicer NAS than the F210, which of course it's more expensive because it has more bays and has a better chipset and a little bit more RAM. Uh, the F210, the F, I'm sorry, I keep messing up the names. The F2210 has one gigabyte of RAM. Um, this one has two. So it has been a little more faster in that regard. It's practically double the speed, I guess, with the better processor and more RAM. But it is more expensive. You can go lower, um, obviously, and you, uh, you lose a bay and you also lose the Intel chipset, which is actually, like I said, it's, it's actually a very good thing to have. Uh, especially if you're using it as a media server to play movies anywhere in your house. And I've overall been really impressed with TerraMaster's quality and, uh, in general. The F210 I've used over the last year has had no issues. No issues whatsoever. It's been completely flawless. If there were any issues, it was on my side with Network or Plex or other applications that I installed on it. But as far as the hardware goes and the software, I had no problem with it. It's been absolutely a blast to use, to have access to my pictures and my movies anywhere uh, I have an internet connection has been amazing. And if you guys haven't done that or have never heard of a media server or don't know what it is or don't know how to set one up, again, I have a video of what I did in the description below so you can check that out. The F5221 is available now on TerraMaster's website. Retails for $379.99 USD. It's their flagship personal home model, I'm gonna call it but can also double for your small business. And if that's too pricey for you and you're nervous, just like uh, I was nervous when uh, TerraMaster sent me the F210 because I had never worked in, in servers or NASes or networking. I, I consider myself pretty tech savvy, but that's like my kryptonite, like networking and servers and stuff, because I've never worked with those on a daily basis, but it was relatively pain-free. And if the F5221 is great, if you really want those five bays and want the option to have redundancy on 
your media server and on your OS. I think it's a really good product. Terra Master has not let me down in the past. You guys can check them out on their website. I'll leave their website in the description below. And do me a solid. If you guys enjoyed the video or if you found it helpful, hit that subscribe, like, and notification button. It's three small clicks for you, but means the world to us. That's what I say, and that's what I'm sticking to it. So for more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com. Thank you.